तो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो ऑफ मेडिकल मैनेजर यूट्यूब चैनल तो मेरा नाम है आकाश तो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी स्टूल एनालिसिस इन स्टूल एनालिसिस दे हैव पर्टिकुलरली डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स दैट इज वन फिजिकल केमिकल एंड माइक्रोस्कोपिक एग्जामिनेशन द वन विच यू आर गोइंग टू डू इन एग्जामिनेशन इज इन यूर एग्जाम इज माइक्रोस्कोपिक एग्जामिनेशन इन दैट इन दैट फर्स्ट फर्स्ट दे विल गिव यू दे विल टेल बाई टू मेथड्स वन इज बाई सेलाइन वेट माउंट प्रिपरेशन बाई सेलाइन अंड अदर वन इज लूगल सेवेड इन प्रिपरेशन ओके सो यू हैव टू टेक अ टेक ए सिंपल स्लाइड एंड पुट वन ड्रॉप ऑफ सेलाइन एंड अनदर ड्रॉप ऑफ लूगल सेवेड इन इन इट एंड टेक टेक वन स्टिक और स्टीरल स्टिक टेक एंड टेक द फीस इज सैंपल एंड मिक्स वन मिक्स फिश सैंपल मिक्स दिन सलाइन एंड दी लूगल सैवडीन ओके दैन टेक अ कवर् स्लिप एंड कवर् कवर् दिस विथट विथट हैविंग एनी एयर वेबल इन इट देन गो विथ अ मैक्रोस्कोपिक एक्सामेशन फस्ट सी अंडर टेन एक्स एंड देन वेन यू फाइंड लाइक ट्रोफोसाइट और सिस्ट फॉर्म देन यू गो विथ अ फोर्टी एक्स और हंड्रेड एक्स टू ऐडेंटिफा वाट इट इज ओके हाँ वन मोर थिंग इफ इफ इट इज अ ट्रोफोसाइट इज प्रेजेंट टू एनहेंस इज मोटिलिटी टेक अ कॉइन एंड हीट इट एंड टच द कॉर्नर ऑफ दैट स्लाइड देन वेन द स्लाइड गेट हीटेड अप द ट्रोफोसाइट स्टार्ट मूविंग टू सी इट टू सी द मोटिलिटी ओके यू शुड नॉट वेस्ट मोर देन फिफ्टीन सेकेंड्स टू सी द मोटिलिटी ऑफ दैट एंड दिस इज वॉट यू हैव यू आर गोइंग टू डू इन योर एग्जाम बट इन वाइवा दे कैन आस्क एनीथिंग लाइक फिजिकल एग्जामिनेशन केमिकल एग्जामिनेशन और एनीथिंग फॉर दैट वी आर गोइंग विथ द थेरी ऑफ स्टूल एनालिसिस ओके लेट्स गेट इन टू इट so stool analysis the stool analysis is a series of test done on a stool feces sample for differential diagnosis of a certain diseases of a disease system digestive system so we are uh, uh, detecting uh, what all what all dif uh, differential di uh, for diagnosis of a patient for any particular disease so we are doing the stool examination okay stool examination divided into three part physical chemical and microscopic examination first what are the clinical what is the clinical significance of the stool analysis uh, it is done for uh, finding the diagnosis of infectious diseases like bacteria parasite viruses and fungi for bacteria we can do with uh, salmonella shigella e coli uh, or many other bacteria like and in parasites like cystosoma hematobium tinea solium tinea sagenata ascaris lumeroides there are many other parasites viruses fungi many things are there okay Uh, next with the diagnosis of a pancreas disorder inflammation which is associated with malabsorption of the nutrients next primary screening of the test for some types of digestive system malignancy such as colon cancer colorectal cancer colon cancer infl uh, inflammatory bowel disease etc next uh, uh, primary screening test for peptic ulcer disease and some type of anemia you sometimes people see blood in the urine blood in the feces no that is for uh, दे मे हाउ पेप्टिकल सर डिज और दे मे हाउ डिसेंट्री और एनी थिंग ओके नेक्स्ट टू होम द स्टूल एनालिस इज अर्जेंटली रिक्वायर्ड वेन यू शुड से टेस्ट टू बी डन इट इज डन विथ अ पेशेंट विथ अबडोमिनल पेन पेशेंट्स विथ डायरिया एंड पेशेंट्स विथ एनेमिया एंड अदर सिचुएशन बाई विच स्टूल एनालिसिस इज नॉट अर्जेंटली रिक्वायर्ड आर पेशेंट्स हु इज टू थिन और डू नॉट ग्रो वेल एंड द पेशेंट विथ स्टूल कलर दैट इज चेंज टू अबनॉर्मल कलर as he has no such symptoms only change in feces feces color is in so there is not much urgently required and the patients who are too thin means the malnourished people we should not tell okay next stool analysis stool analysis first we will go with a physical examination in physical examination first comes is the color color the normal feces color is dark brown in color this is because of a presence of stercobilinogen in the feces नेक्स्ट अबनॉर्मल कलर्स आर ब्लैक कलर ब्लैक कलर इट इज सीन इन अपर जी आई ब्लेड अपर जी आई ब्लेड मीन्स एंड रेड कलर इज सीन इन लोअर जी आई ब्लेड सी वेन कलर इज इन पिंक कलर देन टू क्लॉट इट विल टेक सम टाइम सो वेन देर इज अपर जी आई ब्लेड इट विल टेक सम टाइम एंड गेट क्लॉटेड एंड दैट गेट कन्वर्टेड इन टू द मेलेना एंड नेक्स्ट वाइट कलर वाइट कलर फीसिस इंडिकेट्स द ईस्ट फॉर्मेटेशन दैट इज कैंडिडा वेन यूर वेन यूर यू लिसन लाइक वाइट पैचर्स एंड वाइट पुरुलेंट एक्सुडेट वाइट वाइट फ्रॉम वेजैना और इसोफेगा सर समवेयर वाइट 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 क्रीमी कॉलोनीज एवरीथिंग विल कम लाइक अ कैंडिडा ओनली ओके नेक्स्ट वॉट इज अ कंसिस्टेंसी वॉट इज द कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ फीसिस नॉर्मल फीसिस इज अ सॉलिड टू सेमी सॉलिड डिपेंडिंग ऑन डाइट ओके सॉलिड टू सेमी सॉलिड नॉर्मल कंसिस्टेंसी ए रिबन लाइक फीसिस स्पेसिफिकल स्पेसिमन कूड इंडिकेट इरिटेबल बॉल सिंड्रोम और जी आई टी ऑब्सट्रक्शन 
ribbon like will indicate irritable bowel syndrome and GIT obstruction liquid stool indicates diarrhea that is gastroenteritis so one of the common questions they ask about uh, gastroenteritis is uh, viruses causing uh, gastroenteritis it is one of the most three marks important question uh, rotavirus calcivirus astrovirus adenovirus okay these are the four viruses which causes gastroenteritis other two are also there like norovirus and sapovirus also there uh, next uh, what is the amount of the stool 80 to 170 gram per day you can tell like 100 to 200 grams per day chemical examination chemical examination is the ph ph is nearly 7 to 7.5 which is comes out to be neutral next sugar fermentation uh, the stool contains of 0.25 grams per deciliter of the sugar elevated sugar indicates lactose intolerance uh, lactose intolerance we will see in biochemistry it is a uh, absence of some enzymes so we, uh, because of that we cannot di digest the lactose sugar uh, next fat contents the stool contain 2 to 7 grams of fat per 24 hours next high levels high levels of the fat that is steatorrhea in the stool may be caused by pancreatitis celiac diseases and cystic fibrosis next comes to the occult blood uh, there is uh, one more video upcoming uh, called occult blood test uh, occult stool blood test uh, which indicate which from which we can uh, do the diagnosis of blood in the feces okay for that what is the principle uh, what is the f i will tell short i will tell shortly you see that video okay uh, see uh, there will be one paper card sheet and it is a rapid diagnostic test and that two boxes will be there and you have to apply feces to both the two boxes and uh, after applying then on the river on when we fold it we have to add hydrogen peroxide to it uh, what is the principle i will tell the phenolic compound that is alpha glu alpha gonic uh, glucon go this this acid is there and it combines with the hydrogen peroxide this this acid combines with the hydrogen peroxide and in presence of heme heme which act as a catalyst okay heme present in the rbc no that act as a catalyst which leads to the blue color blue color within to within some 10 uh, some 10 minutes it will take and the color changes to blue color this indicates the presence of blood in the feces okay you see that video ha, here you can see the change in a color indicates the presence of blood in the feces next patient should be instructed to avoid red meat horse radish aspirin vitamin c as they interfere with the test by catalysis and peroxidases these these are the substances which contain catal uh, which changes the action and gives the false results so we should uh, inform the patient to avoid all these things what is the clinical significance of the test we can do diagnosis of a colorectal cancer diagnosis of ulcer and hemorrhoids invasive gastroenteritis these are the results so we can see blood in the feces next microscopic examination Micro, my, in microscopic examination uh, fecal leukocytes especially neutrophils are associated with the dysentery uh, next they can be detected by uh, dried smears of the stool uh, stained with gram stain next uh, most commonly we will come come out with a wet mount stain that is by uh, saline and another one is the iodine stained smear that should be prepared from for the parasites identification wet mount, wet mount shows the motility of the active protozoa and iodine smear shows the nucleus and charisma of the protozoa the examiner will surely 100% ask you uh, what is the reason for doing wet mount from wet mount we can see the motility motility of the active protozoa from the iodine smear we will see the nucleus and the charisma wet mount is for motility uh, iodine smear is for nucleus and the charisma here are some examples like uh, you, some parasites are there uh, for them cyst and trophozoite uh, form is demonstrated you can go through them I, uh, we will hold them particularly in a particular lecture okay uh, here is a quadrinucleated cyst of uh, uh, amoebic uh, entamoeba histolytica which causes amoebic dysentery and uh, here is a gigadia lambda uh, here here two nucleuses are there and with two suckers axonym and uh, basal body and flagella is also there and it is a trophozyte and a cyst form next balantidium coli is there and uh, cystosoma mansoni it is a trematode and uh, it is a fluke basically okay and next is tinea sagenata and tinea solium uh, one thing i want to say you uh, the most commonly question asked there is tinea sagenata tinea sagenata is a beef tape form how to identify uh, remember the word cattle c a t t l e okay cattle contains t in it and sagenata also contains t in it so tinea sagenata is by cattle and that is beef tape form okay and tinea solium is by pork tape form another one is ascaric lim lumbricoids you can see the egg uh, cyst form and the hookworm and cyclostroma duodenale 
and Trobe is formicularis and here is a flattened from both the sides and it is a D-shaped ova. Uh, you can see this in the upcoming videos. There is a two or three, two more parts coming about the stool examination and check out the microbiology playlist, microbiology practical playlist in our Medical Manager YouTube channel. Uh, so uh, a few more diagrams here that I will show you, you that also. To collect the stool sample, uh, we will use the, uh, the one which you are seeing that is a sample container for the stool that should be uh, dry, sterile, wide mouthed and uh, with a screw cap and, and a sterile, sterile stick to collect the sample. Okay. And here, another here you can see the saline mount and the iodine mount. The saline mount we will put the saline and in iodine mount iodine and we will put at the cover slip and we will see it. Uh, as soon as possible under the microscope okay uh, this is from Apurva Shastri text box first examine the color consistency odor and whether there is any mucus or visible blood present in the stool place a drop of Lugol's iodine on the slide make sure your slide is labeled with the patient's number Take a small sample of stool with an applicator stick and mix it with the iodine. Cover the drop with a clean cover slip. Report your findings on a report sheet and proceed to examine your smear systematically for trophozoites, cysts or larvae and adult parasites using the power 10 objective, then re-examine using the power 40 objective for more details. From saline mount you can see the motility of the protozoa and from the lugal iodine you can see the nucleus and the karyosome. From saline mount you can see motility, from lugal sardine you can see the nucleus. So, so in practical examination you, you need to draw the diagrams. So you ca cannot draw the all other diagrams but you can draw the one which I am showing. And there is one more one more thing I need to say like uh, bile stain and non bile stain. So they will ask which are the bile stain and uh, which are the non bile stain. Okay. So non bile stain is Grigadia lambda, bile stain is Ascaric limbricots. You can tell. Okay, here is a fertilized egg of ascaric limbricoids and there is outer albuminous coat and ovum inside and this is a egg of a, uh, entrobius vermicularis okay next it is a egg, a egg of a hookworm which shows the blastomeres in, inside it and then and a segmented worm and the shell covering it okay and uh, the one which are see here, here seeing this side is the uh, this this is a, Hymenopla H nana that is a hymenolepis nana hymenolepis nana contains the polar filaments that is a four to eight for polar filaments and a polar thickening and oncospore present inside it. Okay, this is a egg of a H nana. Another one, another another is a Grigadia uh, lamblia. You can see the nucleus, suckling disc, uh, parabasal body, and the exonium and flagella and it is a trophocyte of a gigadia lambda which is highly motile another one this is a, a egg of a tinea solium you can see there are th three pairs of hooklets and the ra radial striations present radial striations like this the, uh, striations are present like this okay This is unfertilized egg of Ascaris limbricoids and there is no albuminous coat. It, that's why it is unfertilized egg and the, and the atrophied woman, oh, 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 not woman. <laughs> and uh, the most important and easily, easily diagnosable that is uh, egg of a treacherous trichura and uh, how we can identify easily that presence of the mucus plug. Okay, the mucus plug is present at both the ends and the ovum is present at the center. Uh, another one another one thing is that like cystosoma cystosoma there is presence of a terminal spine okay cystosoma species are three cystosoma hematobium cystosoma japonicum and cystosoma mansoni and uh, one of them has the lateral spine uh, you should see and tell me which one has the lateral spine in the comment section okay 
सो सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो अंटिल दैन जय हिंद जय भारत